Tyson Corners Mall. Hello, VC. This is Naman, the Draw Man. <laughs> uh, DMV stands for DC, Washington, DC, uh, Maryland, and Virginia. Tyson Corner is in Virginia, but it is right at the uh, border of Maryland and DC, hence the DMV. That's how we call it in this area, anyways. Uh, not to be confused with the Department of Motor Vehicles, okay? <laughs> uh, it is the, the Tyson Mall is uh, very close to my house, so I go there often, but to eat, you know, junk food at the food court or go watch movies. Anything other than that, that place is too expensive. I, don't, <laughs> I shop at Amazon and eBay, okay? <laughs> Now the uh, uh, I was really surprised to find a record store in a, such a huge mall. I mean, uh, the lease in that building has to be outrageous, right? So yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm concerned for them whether they be able to sell enough vinyl records. I don't know. I I wish they stayed in business for a long time. Because uh, I was really pleasantly surprised to find a used record bin there. I mean, fancy looking place and having a used record bin was a very nice bonus for me. And it, it, it even had a test bench where I could uh, test my records before I buy them. So that was nice. And the salesmen there were super nice. All set? Alright, take a look. What we got over here? Some stuff for the Scott. Is it new? It's, it's all, well, it's all from the, uh, from the 90s. 93, specifically this series, The Reign of the Superman. So, so who is specializing in comic here? You or? Actually, my special, uh, my guy is, is, is usually at Springfield. Um, I know a little bit, but not. That's kind of my. I know everything else. <laughs> yeah. How about the video games? Video games I know, the records I know, everything else I know. How much are there? Okay, uh, depending on which one, you got Mortal Kombat goes for two grand, NBA Jam is 25, both Hydro Thunder and Rush is at 15 each, and then every one of those guys back there is at 1500 each. But if you wanted to ever de deliver is 150 extra. So this, uh, you do not business in records here? Yeah, that, that is probably not the case. I will get these. Okay. Yeah, so that was nice. Here, here are things that I picked up. Now, Yellow Electric Light Orchestra. I like this band. Uh, I know there's a lot of symphony, uh, what do you call it? Synthesized music. Uh, I've been to concerts like Kiss, Yellow, uh, 38 Special, Foreigners, Chip Trick, and a few more. But, uh, after Chip Trick, I mean, after Kiss, I mean, Kiss is one of my favorite. Kiss is the favorite concert for me. Yellow, to me, is the second favorite because it had an amazing light show when I was. It may look different now, but I don't know. Back then, when I was a kid, Yellow uh, light show was just amazing. The laser light show. And I guess I, like, I do like their synthesized music. <clears throat> <laughs> this is a funny one. This is soundtrack, Every Which Way But Lose. I know I'm going to like that music, Every Which Way But Lose. <laughs> uh, by Eddie Rabbit. A bunch of male thrillers in this one. Now I do like country music. I, I've grown up from Oklahoma, you know. Land of uh, Reba McIntyre and Garth Brooks. So. <laughs> but I, I do like a lot of country music, but not so, I mean, just few hit ones right so uh, I like rock too much to for me to stray that too hard to the country but I do like country music uh, this is also by accident I mean this is by accident Porky's Revenge I thought I was buying Porky's the soundtrack I haven't even seen this movie I think this is third movie uh, third movie in the series uh, but music look okay <laughs> Love Me Tender by Willie Nelson is going to be funny. 
but uh, this is George Harrison. I don't want to do it by George Harrison. Uh, I think Blues Two Shoes by Carl Parkers. Again, I think is that is that another Elvis music? Anyway, I think music gonna be okay on this one, but I'm not gonna do a soundtrack and a movie review because uh, I haven't even seen the third movie in. Even first one, I um, I have doubts as to how it age, you know. When I remember it being fun, but uh, I don't know what it feels like now that I watch it. <laughs> anyway, uh, how about this to complete the John Travolta series? <laughs> uh, Jeff got me Saturday Night Fever. Right, remember that one? He he VCR to me that one so. I'm, I'm gonna do these two guys in one movie, movies, and soundtrack preview. Finally, I want to show this one, uh, American Pop. Now, uh, there's really a lot of good music in this one. I'm gonna do a detailed uh, review with this movie, American Pop. Uh, I don't think this is. I wish there was another, maybe, uh, also I may search for another vinyl that is more complete than this one. Because it has a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, about 10 music. Uh, it has like a Pet Benatar in this one, uh, Jimi Hendrix, uh, Doors, but I think it's missing Janis Joplin and Leonard Skinner. Yeah, there's more music in this one than in, in this one. So, of course, you know, you don't expect the soundtrack albums to have all the music from the movie, but still, especially this has tons of music in it. So, yeah. I'll definitely do a review on this one. And, uh, yeah, that's, but it's for next year. <laughs> My next year's skill just book, right? I gotta do the John Tobolta series. And thanks to, again, thanks to Jeff, I gotta do the Star Wars. <laughs> and I gotta do the, uh, I wanna redo this one. I did a very brief one, but I'm gonna do the more detailed one on, on the Warriors because this is also one of my favorite movies. So yeah, that's it. Um, I started uh, making a uh, New Year's, I mean, no. 1984 review, uh, 1984 review video, YouTube video, things that I've done for 2018. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm able to finish it. If I can finish it, hopefully it will be done by 31st, so I can say Happy New Year to everybody, right? <laughs> but if I don't finish that one, and this is my last video for this year, Happy New Year's, VC. <laughs> Dumb it out.